Join me for 24 hours. Let's see what sort of trail side, pint size wildlife we can turn up. I'm talking handheld wildlife. Let's take close looks. Let's think about their habitats. Think about their adaptations. Starting off as a wild caught caterpillar, this monarch butterfly now stands a chance after Rocky River Nature Center has successfully raised it through its pupa stage of chrysalis. Just moments ago, it has emerged and it's energized, ready to be on its own back in the wild. And a garter snake, pronounced garter snake. These are common, but they blend in real well with the grasses and the plants, so you don't see them that much. I'm gonna let it go. Not all wildlife stays outside. Look at the eyes of this jumping spider. It's an exceptional hunter. Woohoo! Some of the most extreme of wildlife come out at night, like this leopard slug. Let's take a closer look. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, and it's getting slime on my fingers. It's a little sticky. That slime helps this slug and snails and other animals in that group of mollusks keep from drying out. It's Ohio's state amphibian, the spotted salamander. Take a look at this thing, dark body, yellow spots that scream, don't eat me, I don't taste good. Salamanders are one of the more common creatures that you rarely see because they like to stay underneath logs and, and wet, cool places. They're an amphibian, long body, four legs. Looking for wildlife for the last 24 hours with you has been great. Do the same, look high, look low, look inside and out, listen for wildlife. See what you can turn up, make your own observations. Until then, Natural Smarty, signing off.